when I move into the laser on the foot, I'm going to show you with the massage ball head. I'm going to apply a touch to the foot. If your client is sensitive or ticklish, then you just take it off the foot and go above there. And also the sensitivity level on the bottom of the foot in regards to how painful it is. So we'll deliver the laser therapy first, all to the bottom of the foot, right around to the heel, and the fascia, and concentrating right on here in the medial part, which is usually the most tender. Okay. And notice what I'm doing here is I'm actually moving the foot around, okay, controlling what the foot does. And I'll have the patient flex and extend the toes, so the toes will come back and they'll go down. So I want to get some movement in that fascia and then they'll relax. I'll apply a good amount of pressure and because the fascia on the bottom of the foot runs up the entire back of the body and actually ends above the orbit of your eye, I'm going to work and laser into the calf, the soleus, the gastroc, posterior tibialis, and all the flexor tendons of the foot. So then I'll come up into this region this one I'm going to apply more pressure and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to lift up, I'm going to support and hold and then notice I can do two at once. Come in and really control the tissue depth that I'm going. And when you're working in close to the shin, okay, I'm going to take the ball, move right along that area and I'm going to use my other hand as a guide point for going along that region and I can get a reaction from the patient on what they're feeling and the amount of tissue that I'm pushing in and if you get right to an area where you feel that adhesion or that knot then I'm going to focus and I'm going to rub a little harder and then move on. Okay? You'll notice that this area is extremely tender with how the fascia attaches to the bone so that's where the laser comes into play to reach that deep deep fascia that attaches to the bone that you can't reach superficially. The final part that we want to tape with uh, plantar fasciitis is the thoracolumbar fascia. And yes, that's far away from where the foot is, but it's a crucial player in the mechanics of gait and foot strike. So if I can improve that cross body mechanism of gait, walking, and running, it'll relieve the pressure on the bottom of the foot. So make sure you do your thoracolumbar fascia with every case of plantar fasciitis. So I'm going to demonstrate two taping techniques for plantar fasciitis. If it's uh, very acute or it's an acute exacerbation of a chronic injury, you can use the edema tape. And the edema tape is a special one where we cut the tape into different strips and it's going to have a different lifting effect on the skin which is specifically designed to help reduce swelling and inflammation. You're going to peel the tape back, you're going to set down your anchor point right on the bottom of the heel. Okay. And I'm going to show you a really easy way to lay this down. So you pull all these off and you can see it's got like a little bit of a spidering effect. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is each one of these goes their own separate way and I can lay these separate pieces down and I'll do each outside piece because that helps kind of form my canvas. So I'll have the outer edges done <clears throat> and then I'll lay the center edges down after that. So you want to have spaces in between the tape and that's going to give a little bit of a different lift because of the change in pressure gradient. So where the tape is, there's more lift to where there's no tape. So that really gets this compressive type of action in there to get the pump of swelling and inflammation down. So the second way to apply tape to the plantar fascia after you've done laser treatment is <clears throat> if you want basic support to the bottom of the foot for a lifting effect but also to decompress in through here and even change the N version or E version of the foot a little bit to help with heel strike, you're going to use the solid strips. So you pre-cut, you're going to stretch the tissue like you did before and then extend the toes up. This one is easier to start at the bottom of the toes so you know where your end point is and then you can apply your decompression strip right here in the middle. Stretch 100%, back off half, come right across the center 
that gives extra lift to the fascia and now you've got your extra support for the plantar fascia after the laser treatment. Right, whenever you have plantar fasciitis you're always going to have involvement of the gastroc and posterior muscles in, in the calf. So I'm going to show you how you can tape that using two strips. So we're going to tear the anchor point back, anchor right on this side of the calf, lay down the anchor point. Just going to stretch the calf by dorsiflexion, okay? And just lay the tape right up the side of the calf and the gastroc on up here. Rub it down to activate the glue. Then you're going to go on the other side of the Achilles and do the exact same thing. You can put the decompression strip right in the middle. That's the one will go right on the soleus. Pull 100%, back off half, place down. So now they've got the support of the tape to give some lift and stabilization to the calf to relax the fascia on the bottom of the foot. The last place you're going to tape with the plantar fasciitis is the thoracolumbar fascia. So after you've lasered the thoracolumbar fascia, you're going to go in and you're going to put that four inch strip of tape across. If you don't have the four inch strip of tape, it's very easy. You just take two strips of the two inch and stack them over top of each other and you'll still have the same effect and that's going to give you the lift and support in that thoracolumbar fascia that we're looking for for the gait cycle.